you know, this is why, again, doing what we do with the nutrition approach that we take is just so optimal because, again, it's all about the numbers. Yep. And the numbers and the data does not lie. Like, that's the beautiful part about everything. It, the numbers don't lie. Your feelings don't matter. You know, it doesn't matter if the numbers say one thing, that's it. So yep. if you're having, whatever, 400 grams of carbs a day, whatever, 70 fat a day and 200 grams of protein, and your weight on the scale is not increasing or decreasing, right. you need to pull those numbers down. Yeah, it's just easy. Yeah. But I want to transition from here into talking about like having a workout journal. Mm -hmm. So one of the things, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there's, I believe there's a difference between working out and training. 100%, yeah. Now, what most people do is they go to the gym or they go and work out, and that's good. They're doing a workout. That's very good, and you should be doing that for your health but you're not actually training. By keeping a workout journal, you're actually physically training because now you're able to look at the data right. and say, okay, last time I worked out, I did this. So now I need to do this this time. So like all these years that you've been training, Pete, do you keep a workout journal? Yeah, I've always had, I've always had a, at least a loose format of a training journal. And sometimes it's a bit more structured, but I've never ran, I don't think I've randomly went in the gym and just lifted weights or trained or whatever you want to say I did when I went in. I never had a training session probably since I'm, man, like, probably since day one, actually. Yeah. Maybe just the first couple of months when I got into lifting, but from there, I never went in without a goal to beat my previous best or to progress somehow. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And again, that's the difference between working out and actually training. Right. You know, you need to be able to keep track of what you're doing. You need to be able to know, okay, last time I went to the gym, I did lateral raises. I did this yeah. for this many reps. I need to, you need to be able to know that because that is actually training. And that's going to be the difference between getting really good results and not getting good results. The training log is also there to tell you what your body is responding to and what it's not responding to because it's very easy to get in your own head and just say yeah i had a great workout but then if you look at the logbook and you say you know what i actually was lifting more weight two months ago or i was doing more two months ago or whatever it is or my my progress is actually going down but mentally you're just like yeah i sweated you know i got a great pump you know i felt great but if you look at the logbook the log doesn't lie well, this is what i said you know if your feelings, yeah, they have, you matter. have to take them out of the doesn't equation matter. because you can have a really good workout. Yeah, Like and I talk about this all the time, especially in the ads that we run too. It's like, I can put anybody through a yeah. really, really good workout. Oh, of course. Yeah. And I, you could be on the floor, yeah. you could be dead, but that doesn't mean it was productive. No, you know, in order to have productive workouts, you need to be training. And in order to be training, you need to be keeping track of the data. So this is why it's so important. And this is a good reminder for everybody listening to this that you need to log everything in a yeah. log book or training book. And again, it doesn't have to be an elaborate system. No, you know, for our clients, we have our own app that they log everything into. You know, I use paper and pen. Yeah. I have like a little black and white book yeah. and I have stacks of those books in my house yeah. for years of my training. Yeah. But that's what it takes to actually begin training and mm -hmm. stringing together productive workout after productive workout after productive workout. Yeah, and like I said too, it's just a great indicator of, okay, it's telling you, am I on the right path to get to my goal? You know, you have an end goal, but you need to know if you're moving in the right direction. Just because you're going to the gym, just because you're training, doesn't mean you're moving in the right direction. You might be spinning your wheels, you know, and the logbook will tell you that. Yeah, and you said it the best, it's like, oh, I sweated today. Right. <laughs> what does yeah. that mean? You can go outside and sweat. It's summertime yeah. right now. You can go outside and sweat. It's, it's just like game. bodybuilders are guilty of it too. You know, a lot of them go to the gym and they're just like, tonight was great. I got a massive pump. pump. You know, yeah. like the pump was insane tonight. Yeah, but, you know, did you actually stimulate your muscles and did you actually cause an overload effect that your, your body wasn't subjected to previously? Might not have been. I mean, just, same thing with sweating. I can make you sweat. I can also make you get a great pump. Doesn't mean you're actually going to progress. Yeah. Exactly.